Hi, in this video we're going to look at publishing your QGIS projects to LizMap. In order to publish your projects, you either need to have an existing repository or to create a new repository. If you're not sure how to create a new repository, you can see our previous uh, video on creating a repository. So in order to publish your QGIS projects to LizMap, you'll need to use the LizMap plugin. If you don't already have it installed, go ahead and go to Manage and Install Plugins and search for LizMap. Uh, here we already have it installed. If you don't, uh, go ahead and install it. So once installed, you access the LizMap plugin via the web menu. Go to Web and you should see LizMap. Go ahead and click. And you'll see a screen like this. Uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, you want to go ahead and enter the URL, uh, give it a name, because um, you can have multiple uh, installations here. And it should come back to you, and it will prompt for the password. And it should come back to you with this thumbs up showing that uh, everything's been read correctly from your LizMap installation. Okay, if you look at uh, on the left menu here, map options, um, we have uh, various options for, for publishing the map. What we're going to do first is just go ahead and leave everything at the default and just go ahead and publish it and then come back and make some changes. So if we click apply and then click OK, and you'll see we get a prompt here, please do not forget to save your QGIS project for publishing the map. Um, the reason for that is that every time you go to publish the map, a LizMap configuration file is generated. Okay, if we go to the location that we saved our QGIS uh, project file or QGIS file, we'll see that the LizMap plugin also generated a QGIS.CFG or configuration file. And both of these have to be uploaded to the repository together. Okay, now to publish the map, we can use SFTP or FTP, and at the end of the video, we'll also show that if you're an AccuGIS client, you have a third option, which is use our publishing tool. Let's go ahead and publish this map using SFTP. Uh, we have created a repository called Demo. It's under the install directory, and again, if you're not sure how to create a repository, just go ahead and see the previous video. What we're going to do is just take the configuration file and the QGIS to just project file and just drag them right up into that directory. Now you'll notice that because I'm logged in as root, the owner is root. We need to change that to the www data user. Let's go to properties and this can be done via command line as well. www data, right click OK. And now we should be able to see our if we've set the permissions for them to be seen uh, via the LizMap installation. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so now we see our map has been published to the demo repository we created earlier, and we just published this map. Um, it has a default uh, thumbnail. You, you can change that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and click and make sure the map renders correctly. Okay, I haven't selected the, the layer to render on the map load, so I'm going to go ahead and click here. And there we have our map. So we uploaded the QGIS file and the QGIS configuration file that was generated by the LizMap plugin uh, to the repository we created on our server, and now the map is rendering. We're going to make some changes here. We want this to come on uh, to render on load, and also we want to get some pop-up information. So we'll go ahead and make those changes now. <clears throat> okay, so we're back at the LizMap uh, plugin menus. And let's go to Map Options. We always find all kinds of options. There's quite a number of options. And again, you can look at the LizMap documentation for that. I'm just going to make a couple simple changes here that you'll most likely want to make. And for our project layers, if you click on that layer, uh, we can set the title here. And I'm going to go ahead and we want it, I'm going to select toggled so that I won't have to select the layer for it to be visible. Um, 
uh, when the map loads. It'll be visible automatically. And I'm going to select pop up to display the uh, features on click. Go ahead and click apply. And OK. And you'll see again you get the prop. Make sure to save your 3 disk project file before uh, publishing your map. So we'll go ahead and save that. Oops. Okay, so now we just need to republish the file, which is just simply uh, copying over the file once again. And this time we shouldn't need to change the permissions. It should take the permissions that uh, we have uh, that we already created. It should keep them as WW data and it's done that. So let's take a look at the map. Okay, and back to our Liz map uh, installation. Let's go ahead and click on demo. Okay, we see that the layer is toggled invisible. And now if we click, we'll get the feature information as well. Okay, so we've covered basic uh, publication, um, which again consists of installing the LizMap plugin, uh, setting any options we want within the plugin, and we uploaded both the QGIS project file as well as the LizMap configuration file to the repository we created or to an existing repository. Okay, and finally, as mentioned earlier, if you're hosting with AccuGIS, you have a third option for publishing, and that's to use the publishing tool in the web control panel. Just go ahead and click on that. And from here, we can upload our uh, QGIS file as well as the QGIS configuration file to the repository we selected. Um, if you go to the uh, browser here to click, this takes us uh, to the install directory, and here we have the demo repository created. Uh, just click on that to set the repository. And then go ahead and click to upload uh, the QGIS and uh, configuration file. And if you're just updating it, it will overwrite uh, any existing file that might be there. And what you can also do is, if you wanted to create a new directory, let's call it uh, demo new. We would just uh, put in the new repository name here and go ahead and upload the file to that and it will create the new repository for us.